be 17 stones. I'm a gold, 16 and a half stones, and just about a quarter of a pound. And Lewis, some three inches taller, has a considerable reach advantage. But McCall has been in with a lot of very good opponents, including Tony Tucker, the man against whom Lewis made his very first defense in Las Vegas in May of 1993. The last time Lewis was in this ring was to defeat Gary Mason for the uh, British and European heavyweight titles. Gary Mason somewhere at ringside making his comeback and wondering Will he ever get to fight at this level again? And will indeed he ever get to fight Lennox Lewis? So the taller champion, Lewis. And he really needs a big win. He's not still terribly highly rated by pundits across the pond in the United States of America. Whereas Oliver McCall certainly is rated as number one challenger by the three major governing bodies of world boxing. WBC, the WBA and the IBF. And the man who was the former sparring partner for Mike Tyson, Oliver McCall, relatively unknown in this country, is expected to give Lennox Lewis a very hard fight. And if he rips in any more right hands like that to the uh, body of Lewis, then those predictions will be completely correct. Lewis tends to start very tentatively. He did just that in his uh, last title defense against Phil Jackson in Atlantic City in May of this year, before getting to grips with the challenger then and winning the fight in the eighth round. He does throw a very good right hand, Oliver McCall, and Lewis will have to watch that. He tends to drop his left occasionally. Lewis trying to work behind the jab. That's rather wild by McCall. Perhaps wishes to pressurize the champion to get the fight over with as early as possible. McCall very heavily muscled, very strong, and reckons he's in the best condition of his life. Good right hand, a good slicing right by the champion. Well, that's the first sign we've seen of that uh, strong punch by Lewis. Well, what an opening first round. And while the Wembley Arena is by no means packed to capacity, there's a tremendous atmosphere. Lennox well, Lewis, uh, a little bit of um, work being done just underneath his his left eye final instruction then to Lennox Lewis an interesting first round with uh, both men letting a little bit go from the armory but there's plenty more still there one suspects and Lewis working again behind that jab he's got very fast hands for a big man very athletic Lewis unbeaten, remember, after 25 fights. Oh, he's got him. Oh, Lewis walked into a right hand, and that was the sucker punch that they worried about. And Lewis staggers, and the referee has uh, decided it's all over. My goodness, what an upset. And Lennox Lewis's career must now be in tatters. Oliver, the atomic bull McCall, the 29-year-old from Chicago, has stopped Lennox Lewis. The WBC heavyweight champion of the world in the second round, McCall says, I told you so, I told you so, reminiscent of Muhammad Ali three decades ago, and Oliver McCall and his entourage cannot simply believe it themselves. It was a right hand delivered with startling ferocity and startling speed, and Lennox Lewis dropped the left almost imperceptibly and walked straight onto it, the classic sucker punch, and look at the difference in the two corners. Lewis cannot believe it. And his hopes perhaps of a unification title with Michael Moore, a rematch with Riddick Bowe, and who knows, Mike Tyson expected to come out of prison and a fight in the offing. And Lewis simply cannot believe it because at the moment that would all seem to be completely gone. Pandemonium here in the Wembley Arena. And Lennox Lewis counted out with only with less than a minute of the second round gone. The crowd can't believe it. It was a tremendous punch. They hug and Lewis is smiling. Well, his lip is very badly cut and that really was uh, bears testimony to what was a cracking shot. And the father of six children, the 29-year-old from Chicago, 
has done what nobody has ever done before and has stopped Lennox Lewis and what a time to do it.